What's up, Bagger Nation? I'm Anthony Ione, back in the lab, doing something outside of the box this time, a little something different for all of us. A shout out to Big Ass Podcast, who came up with the idea to feature two baggers out there in the cornhole community through a dissection of their pitch mechanics. Congratulations to Bruce Chandler out of Alaska's Far North Cornhole Club and Genevieve Reeks out of Iowa for their nominations. Let's get to it. All right, so check it out. Let's work our way through the motions of your pitch mechanics side by side with Trey Birchfield. You guys have a similar setup, so he's he's a good fit for comparison. For a non-stepper, most elite baggers will set up heel to toe, which you are, illustrating it perfectly here with your weight distributed 50-50 front and back foot. Very close alignment to Trey. As you move through your backswing, I like the straight arm and locked elbow. It's very important the elbow does lock and remains behind your back and forward swing. No bent elbows or chicken wings out to the side, you know, nothing crazy like that. Um, check out the knees and waist though. We see unnecessary bending at the waist and also at the knees. See how still Trey's head is while yours bobs up and down on knee extension. Trey's illustrating what we see most elite baggers do with a more upright chest and minimized knee bends. This gives a more consistent release point and release force uh, without contributing from your contribution from your ba base there. So Trey and most elite baggers will show athletic motion with unlocked knees and just slowly transition their weight forward to their front foot. You can kind of see you kind of start out way on front of your foot. I like the squareness of your chest and hips um, and how they're presented straight towards the hole. Let's touch on your grip real quick. So you have extended fingers in your grip and throughout your release. So with those elite baggers who have those beautiful flat rotating bags, we see a tight fist pack of resin in the grip. Here's a good example of Ryan Windsor's grip from a back view. Let me grab these sweet bag daddy triple threats right quick. Now what that's doing is upon release of the bag, there's a quick transition from fist to flat palm and a quick snap of the fingers extending towards the hole called a finger blast. This is a major contribution to bag rotation. With your fingers finishing already extended and not finishing flat palm up, you're missing the major elements that generate flat bag rotation. All right, let's pull Genevieve in. <clears throat> so Genevieve, straight up, there's a lot going right for you. There's only two things I would focus on uh, to clean up your pitch. Starting off with your pre-pitch pre presentation, we see that common throwing foot forward, heel to toe, weight 50-50. Uh, side by side with King, we see a lot of similarities here. Chest presented square to the board, as well as your hips. As we move through the pitch, we see a nice straight arm locked, elbow behind your forward swing, throwing shoulder relaxed, slightly lower than your non-throwing shoulder with a butterfly style grip uh, that we can see in the back. Very similar to what we see with King. The first area of focus is so minor but worth mentioning. You have this bend at the knee <clears throat> where typically players are afraid of hitting their leg or hip, so they bend inside their body. This is not common at the elite level, although we see guys like Jeff Reynolds having success with this. Um, as we finish off with your forward swing, you combined an explosion of the bent knee back to straight, as well as a high calf raise. This is really just a lot of unnecessary force coming out of your base. You know, running it forward and back next to King, you can see how calm his base is. Keep a close eye on his heels um, while you demonstrate this rocking explosion. Again, a minor cleanup for you to consider. Because you have so much going right, really the biggest improvement opportunity for you is going to be in your release. So side by side with King, we can see a transition from fist to flat palm with a palm facing to the sky. The resolution isn't great with the frames per second, but we can see on release your pinky is low below the rest of your fingers, which I call a weak side release. This is what separates good players from great players, is being able to rotate that palm flat, rotating the pinkle, pinky from below all your fingers to level with all of your fingers.